Hi folks, John Richardson here. Gonna show you, we just got them in. You're looking for a little bunkhouse, 20 foot. You wanna keep it under 4,000 pounds because you got an SUV. Guess what? Coachman makes a rig complete with a front fiberglass cap that'll accommodate everything you want it to do. Couple things about this. This is all laminated travel trailer. The floor's laminated, the ceiling's laminated, the walls are all laminated. Plus, you got a window in the front and a fiberglass cap. As you probably know, the cap gives it the aerodynamics so that you can slip through the wind and get better gas mileage. You'll notice we only have one five gallon propane tank on it. Well, how come you only got one, John? It's because we got an inch and three quarter of block foam insulation, kind of like a kickboard in the walls. The advantage of that is you're not going to have the fiberglass insulation settling down in the wall to where you have plenty of insulation in the bottom of the wall and none at the top. Consequently, that's why they do the aluminum frame vacuum bonded travel trailers. So I'll show you a little bit about this. We have a locked door here, obviously. I was supposed to come out and unlock this, but I wanted to get the videos out without worrying about whether it was unlocked or not. Magnetic latches. You'll notice here we have a Coleman cook stove, camp grill they call it. This is all laminated floor and I'm going to show you what that means inside. So the roof and the floor are both laminated. So I guess the best way to explain it, this has got a Murphy bed in it. Well, your Murphy bed's right above the floor, so it doesn't do a whole lot of good to have a bed in a cold, wet, cold trailer that you got the cold coming up through the floor. That can't happen here because you got block foam insulation built into the floor. You'll also notice we have the ability here to have portable uh, solar panel to keep your battery up. This of course is all block foam insulation. Very, very well built, made by Coachman. This is their ultralight series, which is made for anything that needs to be 6,000 pounds or less. Of course, on the outside here, we have an electric awning. Very, very nice. You got a couple speakers out here. You can turn the stereo on inside, listen to music on the outside. I might add, this has also got a rope lighting in the awning. Very, very nice at night. You can find your trailer. It's got very uh, bright blue light on it. Now, where that camp stove goes, as you can plainly see, is right back here so that you've got a refrigerator, you've got a drawer for silverware, a place to store your trailer rather than being up in the front where you got other things stored. So when you get to where you're going, you can set up your camp stove. If you're cooking crab, that type of thing, you don't necessarily want to do it on the inside of your trailer and leave smells. So that's the idea of the outside kitchen. Of course, we have a direct spark hot water heater. We got spare tire, we got all the amenities. Now let's go inside and take a look at how nice this is. So as you can see, being a small trailer, one of the things that people encounter with a small trailer is a six foot bed takes up half the inside of the trailer. They'd really rather have the bed at night and then a couch in the daytime. So how do we accomplish that? We put the, the bed up, poke it in here, and then we have a couch. Don't need the bed taking up half the trailer. So now we got a couch in the daytime. We got a booth here so that we can play Monopoly, backgammon, that type of thing. You'll notice the bunk beds back here in the corner. So we've got two bunk beds. You've got the ability to put bicycles in here underneath this. Of course, on the other side of this is that outside uh, cook stove and that type of thing. So bunk beds, this will top bunk will accommodate 200 pounds. 
So that means I got to sleep on the bottom because I'm barely over 200. So, of course, we've got refrigerator with freezer. And one thing I'd like to point out for you ladies that might be a little shorter than I am, you don't have to reach up over your head to find out what's in the freezer. And of course, the kids can figure out where the snacks are because that's their height. Same thing with a microwave. You're heating something up. You don't have to reach up into a top cabinet to get your stuff out of the microwave. Plenty of cabinets, nice big stove. Now you remember me talking about laminated floor, laminated ceiling. Don't do this in your average trailer, which has a trust roof. This is a laminated roof. That's all block foam up there. So therefore, I don't have to have two seven and a half gallon propane tanks in order to heat my trailer. This guy, think of it as being inside of a, an ice chest, if you will. It takes very little energy to keep it cool. That's what this air conditioner's for. And very little propane to heat it up because it's all inch and a three quarter of block foam. Of course, the last thing I want to talk about, we got more storage here, a couple cabinets here. And last but not least, the throne room. So here we have medicine cabinet. We have a sink in there so you can brush your teeth. We got the commode. We got the shower with a skylight and a fan up above it. So folks, if you got any questions, my name's John Richardson. I've been here going on 28 years. There's the number down there at the bottom. Or better yet, come on out and ask for JR. I'll be more than happy. Maybe you want something similar to this, but maybe this isn't the one. I got 400 to pick from. Come on out and let's go through them. I've been through them once or twice in my time here. Be glad to show you what we got. Thank you for taking the time to watch.